Hi everyone, I'm feeling great. I've got on my pink for Valentine's Day, my pink eye makeup, loving it. Um, this is actually from a My Little Pony palette, which I love, as weird as that sounds. But I wanted to show you, before we get into Valentine's Day stuff, I wanted to show you my Super Bowl grocery haul. I'll discuss the things that I'm having for Super Bowl Sunday and healthy choices, options, ideas. Mackenzie wants to show you guys her pink. Ooh, she's wearing pink too. Don't mind my kitchen, it's a mess. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my what I'm making for Super Bowl. So some of the things that we will be having are Deviled eggs, I want to switch it up so I'll be either making a guacamole stuffed deviled egg or a sriracha deviled egg, um, something special, and we'll see what I decide tonight. Um, I'm going to be doing some spinach and artichoke dip as well as a buffalo chicken dip. So there's going to be a lot of cheese, so if you're either can't have dairy or um, not a cheese person. Um, sometimes they have dairy-free cheeses. Um, or I have some other options that I will talk about too. So, here we go. So one of the first things is I have eggs, which we already said we are making some kind of deviled eggs. And then I have frozen spinach as well as canned spinach. Not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but I will be making um, spinach and artichoke dip. So I have the canned artichokes just to make my life easier. Um, it's so much. Okay, so I have my artichokes, which are just so easy. Cut them up a little bit, throw the spinach and the artichokes together, cook that a little bit, drain any water off that may be and then put some cheese you can put either sour cream or cream cheese in it make a nice creamy spinach um, next we're moving on we have chicken dip you can either use the canned chicken or a rotisserie chicken canned chicken sometimes easier um, but you just open the can put it in the bowl put it with some I got some of the Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. You can get any brand Buffalo Sauce you like, um, low in carbs. And I have this Sriracha. It was the only Sriracha I could find at the store, so I don't know. Maybe people need it for Super Bowl. Um, but some Sriracha Sauce. Love it. I like to make it a little extra spicy, a little extra heat, especially since the kids don't eat Buffalo. They don't eat anything spicy, so um, I like to have as much spice in it as I can. So I got a little bit of sriracha to put in there. I have all different kinds of cheeses. I did get a thing of mozzarella. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I always use mozzarella cheese, and I used up the last of it the other day. I got some taco blends. They were out of the regular white cheddar cheese, so I just went with whatever they had. It doesn't really matter to me um, what kind of cheese is in there. It's going to be delicious. Um, and I got... Either I was thinking these to dip in my dips, the wisps, which are like three carbs for the whole package. And um, I got a celery to dip in there. Uh, no, that's not celery. That's celery. I did get celery maybe possibly to dip in there. I was just kind of playing it how I feel. And I bought a lot of things that um, I'm not going to eat all of this all in one day. So I bought a lot of things that are low carb that I will use throughout the week to come. And things that my kids will eat. My kids will eat celery and peanut butter this week. My kids will eat celery and cream cheese. So will I. So, um, you know, it's a good thing just to have and to buy just in case. Um, I also got a pepper. I know peppers are controversial, a little bit higher in carbs, but when you're looking at a chip versus a pepper, you're getting a vegetable in here. So to me, it makes more sense than a tortilla chip or something of that nature. But I did buy, just in case, some tortilla chips. I 
some tor low carb tortillas, which I could tr cut into triangles and make into tortilla chips if I'm feeling like a tortilla chip. I just wanted to have my bases covered. And then we moved to cheese and crackers or cheese and meat. So I got some salami, some prosciutto, and also some uh, regular cheese, reserved cheese. So that way I could make a nice little cheese and meat um, board if I choose to. Otherwise, I can eat that throughout the week. Um, sour cream. Uh, uh, cream cheese. I do have sour cream. But cream cheese, I'll put that in my dips. And also, I have this sour cream that I found that is absolutely delicious if you can get it. It's uh, from Vermont Creamery. This is onion and chive. And there's a cilantro lime one. So these are extra specially delicious. I love them. Um, and again, super low carb. Two grams of carbs per serving, which is two tablespoons. 70 calories. Really good. I also got, i um, not sure what I'm going to use it for. Usually I put this stuff on my salad anyways. I put on usually some sriracha and some um, guacamole and sour cream. So all of this stuff is stuff that I can use again. Zachary wants to be my helper. Helper here. Say hi everyone. Alright. And then so the last food item that I have in my bag of tricks is pork rinds. I'm not a huge pork rind person, but I can get down with some like buffalo pork rinds once in a while. These are plain, so I think what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to... Oh, Zachy's trying to show you. Um, so I think what I'm going to do with these is that I'm going to put some cinnamon and some sugar on them some powdered sugar and some cinnamon and put them in the oven a little bit and uh, make kind of like a cinnamon twist from Taco Bell. I lo like to do that with the plain ones. I don't I don't really enjoy eating the plain ones so it either has to be like the barbecue ones or these with cinnamon and sugar so that's my game plan for those if I'm craving something sweet and I've already had a lot of carbs. So now we're going to move on to beverages. There's a lot of great um, beverages on the market now. Um, they've really been expanding over the years. So um, there's a lot of choices. So I'm going to be trying these for the first time, which I'm really excited about. It's um, Bud Light Next. So... Bud Lights are kind of low carb. I don't know if they really are. Usually I go for the Dogfish. Dogfish has a really great low carb beer. But these are supposed to be a light, crisp beer with zero calories. So I will try to put that in a video if they're good or not because I haven't tried them yet. Good job. And then I got these are a local beer a light lager and it's like two carbs per beer so we'll try that one we'll see if that's any good as well and then if you don't like beer for some reason but you still want to um partake in some drinking activities um there is a lot of i would stick with clear alcohol so gin vodka tequila and then you can mix that with any kind of like soda water here I have um, uh, vitamin water, zero sugar. Um, I also have um, soda waters in my refrigerator that are zero calories. So those are a great idea if you want to go with a hard alcohol. And, um, and that's basically what I have. Um, but if you are going for a non-alcoholic beer or some beverage they do have these and those are what I used to drink when I was pregnant but they're actually zero carbs it's like a hoppy water they are so delicious um, I actually have a hard time finding them and when I do find them usually they're sold out so Langanitas if you're not looking for something alcoholic but you still want to have that kind of like um, you know, have a drink in your hand, uh, something that's not like soda or soda water. 
Um, also, if you're going to do soda, I would recommend doing like a diet product. They're not great for you, but on a special occasion from time to time, I do have like a diet Coke or something. Um, and that's what I have for you guys today. So let me know what you guys are having for Super Bowl. I'm going to share some of the stuff that I've done in the past. We've made pigs in a blanket. Um, I forget what the other ones were that we did, but I think I did a two or three um, videos last year on stuff to do for Super Bowl Sunday. So pigs in a blanket are always a good one with some um, fat head dough. Or you could probably either do them protein sparing modified fast too. You could make them with some egg white powder. Maybe I'll try that at some point. Actually, that's a thought. And I will see you guys soon. I hope that you guys are rocking it. And I hope that if anyone is struggling, that you don't let Super Bowl affect you too much. It's one day. We're going to try not to binge eat, especially me. I'm more telling myself that than you guys. Um, because I bought all this food, but I, that doesn't mean I have to eat it in one day. So, we're going to do the best we can. We're going to rock it. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Uh...